Hey everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Deborah, and I'm gonna be reacting to BTS Wings. And, um, well, everyone, if you're subscribed to Big Hit's channel, you've probably been getting the notifications like I have, but um, I haven't had the opportunity yet to see it just because I wanted to react to it also but i've seen a lot of theories floating around about how this is based on the book damien which i have read this pack notes <laughs> version i haven't actually read the book but um i'm really excited to see this just because as you all know i have been freaking waiting for a big hit a bts comeback since forever and finally we are gonna be blessed with a comeback but this is a really really unique comeback because according to all what i've been seeing it's linked to the beginning like since their debut days is when they've been planning this so i'm really really excited like it just says a lot about big hit so it's me to ask questions like if bts never got this big does it mean we would have never seen this plan out which makes me think of other groups and other things that they may have planned out for like years ahead okay this is our plan they mapped it all out but unfortunately for them they didn't go big so we couldn't see how their end would have been or the remaining of their story but thank goodness with bts we are able to see the beginning and we're able to continue seeing their story but it's just something sad that I just kind of thought of and I'm like oh my goodness think about this there are a lot of other groups that may have had a story but were unable to tell their story because they didn't hit it big and they had to um, separate and go their separate ways they had to go their own way <laughs> I've been listening to too much high school musical recently all right without further ado let's check this out So basically, Damien is about this guy called Sinclair who lived in a sheltered home with strict parents that he was built or he was he had a foundation of christianity and his beliefs of what or how the world should work and so finally at a young age he goes to school and he tells this lie about how he's tall according to spark notes is a lie that he formed he may have actually stolen and this guy blackmail blackmails him about it and starts bullying him so when the guy blackmails him and starts bullying him, he gets a different opinion of how the world is. He sees a side of the world he has never seen before, an evil side to the world because he has been so sheltered in his home. He hasn't ever seen this part of the world. So he sees that part and then in comes in Damien who is a new guy that just came into the school. And then Damien convinces Damien that knows how to basically understand people and their minds and how it works talks to the bully to stop bullying him he convinces him to leave Sinclair alone and he then gets close to Sinclair and tells him his theories about Cain and Abel which is totally different from the biblical or the uh, biblical story and theory of what he has learned and his understanding of how Cain and Abel is and it challenges his own thoughts and beliefs of what Cain and Abel is according or how you should interpret it according to the whole Bible and also he forms his own understanding of what it is yes so they go on and live and him and damien are not really close they see each other but he goes his own way and damien goes his own way and then finally in another class in future they meet again and they talk again and they become close again due to the whole Cain and Abel situation one day he meets this guy who teaches him about the other side of life uh, and helps him become rebellious and the other side of life i mean is like drinking and women even though meeting that guy in the process of meeting that guy he meets this beautiful lady that changes his perception of what women should be and so he doesn't go along with the 
perception or the picture that his friend had drawn for him he looks at this lady she's so beautiful he doesn't have the chance to talk to her or meet her but since then she becomes his new couples for life and each time like he sees a woman that's the image he now has of how women should be so he names her Beatrice and then when he names her Beatrice he starts painting her and he realizes as he's painting her that the more he paints her the more it looks like he's painting Damien finally one day Damien tells him that oh he meets um, he sees a picture of Damien's mom and he realizes that he has the same people like Damien um, the woman in the picture Damien's mom Eva is the same as Beatrice and so oh I forgot to tell, tell you about Pistorius so before all that he meets this guy one day he's passing through church and he hears this organic music and so he goes into the church and meets Pistorius who teaches him about Abraxas which is what they talked about in seven um, what Rapmon talked about in seven. Abraxas is like I told you is the god of um the god who has both good and evil. So him and Pistorius talk and talk and they become close and then he finds out that even though Pistorius is so knowledgeable about good and evil and about the god Abraxas, he still tracks he hasn't gotten his freedom he doesn't create more ideas he doesn't go out of his ways to create more gods he's just limited to that one god abraxas and he's just limited to that one idea and he hasn't really exposed himself to newer things he's limited so he tells him look here boo i know you're my teacher you're my mentor but you're so limited even i realize that you're limited which means i now have a greater understanding than you so i can't keep being under you and he moves on with his life then like i said he meets damien again sees the picture of ever and realizes that oh these people are the same and like Eva's the same as Beatrice and he wants to meet her and so Damien sets up a meeting he comes into Damien's house and the first thing Damien tells him is about the spiral that's on top of his house which kind of signifies he himself Sinclair and how Sinclair is like trapped and needs to be free that's why there are so many pictures of sparrows in this you really need to read it more to understand if you still don't understand what I'm saying and like my summary but then he goes into the house he meets Eva and Eva is just as beautiful and just as knowledgeable as Damien she she um, challenges his beliefs his understandings and helps him see a broader a broader um, sense of life and the world and a new world and kind of helps him understand the power of self work finally he realizes that he can make himself to have a telepathy with Eva and each time he does that Eva sends someone to him so she tells him finally when he's about to leave him and Damien because a war breaks out she tells him if you ever need me since you we can now do telepathy together just do telepathy and I'll send someone over to help you so finally he goes away and he discovers himself he goes on his adventures and all and he discovers himself and Damien dies and so when Damien dies he doesn't need Damien again because Damien was there all along throughout his life to help him discover himself but now he no longer needs Damien again he no longer needs Eva again so Damien died Damien kind of had to die Damien went away and he had discovered himself The realms of day and night, two different words coming from two opposite poles, mingled during this time. Again. I think whistling or using an instrument to do that. Of the book. What? It's the meaning of those 
This rhythm was familiar to me in almost every way. Mother and father, love and strictness, model behavior and school. Lies. Oh, so this is the whole, like in the beginning when Sinclair met Damien and found out about Cain and Abel and felt like everything he learned was a lie in terms of Christianity and everything. Is that what lies is about? So this is when oh I get it now I'm so glad I read the, read the book oh the spark notes right here. Notes version of Damien, and now knowing from like theories that this is based off of Damien, I feel like okay, let's hope I don't forget all what I wanted to say. But I feel like part um, the beginning and then two is 
especially okay for one the one is showing the ending how like in the, at the end of everything Sinclair got his freedom we see the whole spiral being able to fly and the beds being freed from the kid that was when he realized his self-confidence after he lost Damien that's kind of why I feel like Damien's picture or the picture of Damien slash ever slash Beatrice was born in because he had realized his self-confidence and so he didn't need them anymore and he was finally free to move on that's kind of what I feel part one was about then part two is all his mind the beginning where it all began his past kind of that's kind of why Ratman was talking about his mom his dad um, the strictness and um, his school how it was the beginning what he believed in how everything was a lie before he met Damien he was restricted he was trapped in this that's kind of why they were in this white place that looked like a hospital for like mental patients because we are in his mind right now how his mind was locked up to just or limited to just one set of beliefs and he was trapped in that and he couldn't move away from that and the picture looks like a perfect picture where we were watching or it was everything was being recorded but it wasn't actually a perfect picture because in that picture he was trapped that's why in the ending we saw him in the picture because he was trapped in that picture and he needed to let be let out of that picture hopefully it makes sense to someone out there but i can see how it now relates to damien you should go read this fashion version of damien if you don't want to read the book but i now want to read the book of damien because of this teasers and because of what i read in this fashion version and i also really really want to because of this fashion version they didn't really tell us what exactly it was that Damien said about Kim and Gabe, Kim and Gabe, I wish I want to understand what he said but I think I kind of understand it now which is good that I waited till everything came out because 7 just came out and then I'm like okay I'm gonna watch it now that all the theories are out and all I haven't read the theories but I've seen everyone talking about how it's based on Damien so I went to read Damien and then now I'm coming to watch everything inside all together which I think is better than being so confused in the beginning and all but um, let's keep watching. I'm really, really excited. I'm enjoying this. I feel like I'm actually watching the thing. I want to see like BTS make a movie version of all this, which brings me to a theory. I don't know. Maybe I should wait till I watch Wing Seven to say this theory. But it's my theory on the whole book, Damien, and all what I think about Damien as a whole, the book. But um, I just found it really interesting. How this ties back to even your previous envies, I need you and fire, which makes me think that in especially considering Wings One, the story, the short story Wings One, that in fire, you know the black person that came, the person wearing black that came to meet them and all while they were going through their youthful pleasures, which I feel signifies um 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 Knox, the guy who taught Sinclair, I can't remember his specific name, who taught Sinclair how to drink and engage in like pleasures and all. I feel um, um, the guy, the black guy in fire who kept coming to them and all the guy in all black in fire is Damien. That's what I think right now, now thinking back to all of it. But anyway, let's keep going and see if this theory holds or not. So let me tell you a funny thing about Stigma, right? So Stigma, before I like, obviously I haven't, like I said, I haven't watched it. But, um, hold on, let me pause this. I heard that, um, Stigma had, um, what's his name? V singing. And you all know I am crazy about V's voice. V is like a separate entity on his own to me in BTS in terms of his own voice and all because of just how unique and awesome it is. Like, Jimin has the crazy notes. Jimin and, um, Cookie that drives me crazy. But V's, um, what's it called? The... This sound or depth in his voice is just a different thing on its own like it's an entity on its own that's the best way to say it. so i just kept on playing it to listen to his voice being uh, v's stigma but i didn't watch the mv so now i'm gonna actually watch the video without just listening to the audio at all because his voice just drives me crazy i love his voice all right let's check this out now stigma let's go Entertainment. It was the first Fisher in the cons. 
that had upheld my childhood, which every individual must destroy before he can become himself. Such fissure and rents grow together again, hill and are forgotten. But in the most secret recesses, they continue to leave and bleed. What's written on the wall? So I'm guessing this is when Sinclair became a rebel. Rebel. Mother and child picture. his true self so boy meets self right anyway let's watch for big heat entertainment there are numerous ways in which God can make us slowly and lead us back to ourselves this was the way it dealt with me at that time First love. Ooh, so Beatrice comes in now. Beatrice slash Eva. So that's the piano that I was born in. The road towards his self-realization. The road that leads him to Eva slash Beatrice. I love how they're interpreting this. Did it hit him? <laughs> oh, okay. 
okay. Did the car crash? So his rebellious years are born. So I'm guessing this is the part where he met, um, what's her name? He met, um, or not, he didn't meet her, he saw her and that was when he was being all rebellious and drinking and all. And then he saw Eva or he found, a, he saw her but he never really actually met her and his mindset changed and his purpose in life changed and all because of her. So I'm guessing that's why the car crashed into that place that it crashed into and the piano was getting burnt. Because right then he was lost. He was in a stage that he hadn't really found himself where he was being rebellious, drinking and doing all sorts of things due to what he was taught by the other guy that I can't remember his name. In, I'm talking about Damien now and relating back to Damien. And then meeting Beatrice changed his purpose and all he wanted was to find her and his um, image of what is a woman should be was changed because of Beatrice and what how it should look like, how things should look like was changed thanks to Beatrice. I'm guessing that's what this part is all about because she was his first love and all. So that's kind of interesting. Like I said, I like how they put that role. The, how Beatrice, I said Beatrice, how BTS is interpreting this, especially with that role, because it was him looking or seeing Beatrice that changed his pathway, the road he was taking in life, and made him go on a new road that gave him a new purpose. So in that road, I like how they made it that he was lost and he was trying to find whoever that person was that was whistling. He was trying to find Beatrice. He was trying to find whatever that thing something else was calling to him and he was trying to find that but he couldn't actually find it so he was still lost he hadn't yet realized self-confidence but he was now on the path that was going to lead him to finding Beatrice thereby finding his self-confidence and finding himself so boy meet self <laughs> but um I'm really really enjoying this whoever is the brain behind this um Theme, I have to give you props, especially for this part four, especially for part four, for how it was. I don't know for how I'm interpreting it. I really like how it was showcased in this theme. 